Welcome to Excel Tips. In this video, we will see how to create a radar chart in Excel. A radar chart or a spider chart as it also known is one of the lesser used charts in Excel. It is commonly used to plot a variable on a 2D chart relative to a central point. Line charts or bar charts are great for visualizing data across a time series that is changes of a value over time. Radar charts are great for analyzing different attributes and quickly spotting an outlier. Some examples of where a radar chart is very useful is when you are comparing test scores across multiple subjects or comparing employee attributes or even when you're comparing rainfall across months. So it if you see here it is pretty easy to understand which are the central values and which are the outliers if you look at the first chart here we see that employee a it quickly tells me that employee a is pretty well rounded and has and scores consistently if not the highest but consistent on, on a consistent basis on all the attributes whereas employee b is more of an outlier whereas he or she scores better on some parts but scores much lesser in the other aspects of the attributes similarly if we look on this chart here the rainfall chart it is pretty easy to understand very quickly that these four months are the months when we have high rainfall and the others we have low that is the amount of rainfall is tending towards the central point or zero whereas March is a outlier in these month which has receives sufficiently higher rainfall than the months around it. So as you can see a radar chart can bring a different dimension when you are trying to report on some attributes where you want people to focus more on the outliers rather than the data as a whole. There are two kinds of radar charts as you can see is one where you if you have more than one you would be better off using a chart like this where it, uh, you just have the lines and no fill but if you are only showing one data series you can try using the fill chart we will show you both in a moment one pro tip or a helpful tip that you might want to use if you are using a radar chart Look to have two or three data series at the maximum if you have more if you have three or four or more the chart will get cluttered and the data will lose its impact one of the most famous examples of a radar chart is in the mobile game pubg where the different attributes of player score is represented by a radar chart as you can see here this is one of the more famous examples of a radar chart now that we have seen uh, the radar chart or how it looks we will see how we can go ahead and create a radar chart we will use the same data that was available for creating this chart so here we have employee a and employee b and certain attributes and their scores across those attributes so what i will do is i will select the data go to insert if you do not find your radar chart here I would say you go to recommended charts and then click on all charts you will see the radar chart here click on that as you can see there are two main thing the two main styles of radar charts one is this normal radar chart that you see here and the other is the filled radar chart this is not very good when you are showing multiple series as you can see it overlaps so I would suggest if you have more than one series go with this and when you click it the chart it creates a chart but what I would suggest is that you uh, look at some of the options that are there on chart tools design to make it stand out a bit what I would suggest is give a chart title say employee attribute then click on the chart on the click the plus sign and then where i have the legend i want to move it to the right 
it's on the top I want to move it on the right I just click it here and okay or let me just try one of these styles say I click on this style it looks a little better move it to the right and there you have it you can also go ahead and make these a little bold so this is how you can go about creating a radar chart a very very quickly and it would give a lot more impact to your report hope this video was useful to you do give us a like or a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video thank you and have a wonderful day